name is Maria Little Meyer, and I work here at Options for Learning Full Day Preschool. Today, I'm going to be presenting at at home activity, and the name of our activity is "What Can You Do with Twenty Black Taps." Um, since I read this book and it ha talks about what can you do with ten dots, I decided to change it a bit, and I say, "Oh well, I'll make an activity that says what can you do with twenty black taps." Uh, the content of it is cognition and memory. Um, this pertains to problem solving, me, uh, problem solving, judging, uh, and memory. And so at uh, the objective of this activity, children will be able to match um, the tabs in a pair. So um, for this activity, you will need 20 black dots, which is these are power aid containers. But you can, you know, change the color or, you know, have whatever you have at home. Uh, and, you know, a tray, so, you know, the activity is there and it won't roll to the ground. It won't fall. And then you need 20 stickers. So um, the first thing, you know, that you do, you gather your materials, you wash them and you disinfect them. And once you do that, then you air dry them and then um, you will place your stickers underneath just like that so when you place the stickers and then you have the pair and then you can place them and you can have the child you know pick the pairs and um, so their objective will be that children will be able to match each of them with the pair uh, for um, for older children you can turn it up uh, upside down and for younger children, you probably could arrange it in a way that they can see the picture. And this way it won't be so challenging. Uh, it depending, for a three-year-old, you may wanna just put all of them to where the sticker shows. And where the sticker shows and they can see exactly which one matches with which one. But for older kids, you may wanna just put them you may just want to put them uh, where they cannot see the sticker, and basically you can have um, you can have the children match them, and then uh, they'll have to think, oh, where is it? If you turn it upside down and they cannot see it, um, they have to think, oh, oh, where was it? So it's basically, you know, it can be for a three-year-old if you have them with the sticker showing, or it could be uh, for older children. Like a five-year-old, you may want to just put them to where they don't show the sticker. And that is the, my activity of the week.